Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This morning we're going to listen to Hum Kshum Meditation and then a talk titled Witness and Detached State, Joy is the Nectar of the Spirit. But first, let's collectively bow down in front of Shri raise our Kundalini and put ourselves into Bandhan.
Just before, just before we start um, the talk, um, spontaneously decided just to um, say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Jai The freedom is the free being within us. It is detached. It cannot be killed. It cannot be blown away. It cannot be burnt away. It is eternal. Anant. It is eternal. That spirit is joy. That spirit is the source of joy that emits joy. Joy is different from happiness and unhappiness. Ego, when it feels pampered, it feels happy. I like it, I like it. This I business is ego pampering. That is not joy because you like to drink today and tomorrow you don't like to have a headache. It has the double side of I like and I don't like. You like something through your ego, dislike through your super ego. So it is a one coin and there are two faces, one is happiness, another is unhappiness. Joy is beyond that. Joy is a drama. Seer is a witness. You see a drama, you know it's a drama going on. We just watch it as a drama. You are not involved and you are seeing it and enjoying it. You are crying if you see something, you are weeping, but you know you are not that. It's a drama. See her, the witness. Your spirit is the witness. And when you become the spirit, you become the witness. You become the witness. For example, you are seeing something through a window. There's something exists in the window, for example. Now, you enter inside the room and you see through the window. Your conditioning is like one wave arising in you as a thought which comes from the past. It rises again, another thought comes up and goes in the past. First the past thought is there and then another future thought is there, it disappears. You see the thought rising, but you can't see the disappearing of the thought. In between that is the present. That's the place is established, that present is established when your attention becomes enlightened by the Spirit. Either you think of the future or of the past. But I say now, at this moment, at the present, you cannot stand there because your Spirit is not enlightened because the Spirit is the present. When you get your realization, you find that you are not thinking, 
of the future or the past, you are just enjoying. Everything becomes stiff. The whole life becomes a drama and the joy out of it starts coming out. And you really enjoy small, small things here and there. And you really understand how much joy was lost before realization. This is not your mental thing that gives you joy. But the joy pours on you from your head just like this, a cool thing starts pouring down. As, a, as some people have a feeling of the tension rising up, it's the same way a cool sort of thing, flow of joy to feel in your whole body pours out. Sometimes this cool breeze that rises in the head also starts becoming like a fountain pouring down that joy. You look at the pictures, for example, see this star of Moses. You see David star. You see that. When you see that, you can think about it. Or else you just watch this. Watch it and don't think. The joy of the creation of that thing, whole thing, becomes one with you. Like all the creation around a lake is completely felt in the lake if the lake has no ripples. Complete. In the same way, all that is joy. The Creator, whosoever it may be, has put there. You get the complete joy within yourself because there is no thought. There is no barrier. No condition. The whole thing becomes one with you and you start feeling extremely happy, extremely joyous. A feeling which is indescribable. It is to be just enjoyed, to be felt. Like Kabira was asked, why don't you speak now? So he says in Hindi language, he's one of the terrific poets we have. He says, Jab mast hue, fir kya When I have gone into the, into the nectar of the intoxication, nectar of the intoxication of the spirit, now what can I talk? There's no word. No cup can fill this joy. No words can fill this meaning. You better be with me and get it and enjoy yourself. That's all he could say. That's what I say, the narrow vision has closed your eyes to so many things. Even Christ you cannot understand. About Christ is written in Devi Mahatma, about Mahavishnu, all his life is written. If you can read it, you can find out that before coming on this earth, you will see how he was created, what powers he was given, how he is the son, and all that is written. But for us, only we think that Bible is the authority. It is. But even to understand that Bible, as I told you to understand Gita, you better get realization. In the same way, to understand that Bible also, you have to get your realization. The one about whom it is described has never been to a school. None of them have been to any school. For the first time in this life I have learned this English language. I never knew this language in any one of my lives before. Because I knew I'll have to talk to you and I'll have to tell you about spirit in this language. But to understand it, we have to read ancient scriptures. Beautiful ancient scriptures are there which describes the nature of the spirit. He said that spirit has got three qualities. Sat chit anand. Sat chit anand. Sat means truth. Chit means attention. Anand means joy. Sat is the truth. What is the truth now? If you see something white, it is the truth or not. But what is the truth of this shawl? A realized soul can know. Not you. Because his spirit is enlightened. He sees the fifth dimension of this shawl. Let him hold it in his hands and he will know that this is Mother shawl. Immediately he will feel those cool vibrations coming out of it. He'll know that this is Mother Shah. That is the truth. 
the four dimensions which we know of is not the truth, but the fifth one which is the truth, which is the spirit. Sitting down here, you can find out about anybody, what is he suffering from, what are his problems, what are his chakras, is absolute. This knowledge is absolute. If you have five or ten children who are realized, and if you tie their head, uh, eyes, and ask them about a patient which is suffering from, they will all raise their fingers, this, or this, or this, or all of them, the flower, whatever may be the case. All of them will raise the same fingers. It is absolute knowledge. It cannot be argued, it cannot be refuted, it is what it is. And also, today the man may be having these problems, tomorrow he may not have at all. So then whatever was there is finished, whatever is today, that's what they are going to tell you. So it is the truth. The rest is all is mitya, is false. Just continue in a silent meditation.
May I this day be what you'd have me be. May I this day say what you'd have me say. May I this day be part and parcel of the whole. And may my thoughts be of a realised soul. May I this day have love for all mankind. Shri Mother, be in my heart and in my mind. Jai Mataji. We'll just say the last verse of the three great mantras. <clears throat> Om Tvame Vasaksha Shri Kalki Saksha Shri Sahasrara Swamini Moksha Pradayini Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Jeshamadji, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing with your lovely vibrations. When you're ready to finish up your meditation, please bow down in front of Shamataji, raise your kundalini and put yourself into bandhan. Have an absolutely wonderful day ahead, everybody. Jeshamataji. Thank mm-hmm. you.